Hi everyone. Okay, you're gonna Hello. look you're gonna look right there. That's the camera. <laughs> hey guys, I am Lori Landsberg and I'm an executive lead director here at Limelight by Alcone and we are so excited that you have joined this event to learn more about Limelight. I hope that you were able to catch Michelle's video earlier today, our CEO. She is wonderful and she was able to talk to you guys a little bit about Limelight. And today I have a guest with me. This is my husband. This is Dr. Rob Landsberg. Hi. <laughs> and today we want to talk to you guys about the differences between a traditional business versus a network marketing business. So we thought that we would start, well, so first of all, because he's, he's a surgeon, so he owns his own business. So for years, we have sort of dealt with being owners of our own business. And um, we just think it's really interesting and important for you to know the differences between a traditional business versus a network marketing business. So we want to talk to you first about the initial investment. Um, take it away. <laughs> so, I, to become an orthopedic surgeon, to become a doctor, you have to go to school. You have to go to college, expensive. You have to go to medical school, expensive. Not earning any money unless you can do something during the summer. And then, when you finally reach 30 years old, or when I reached 30 years old, I had graduated from my residency training program and I was ready to start my orthopedic practice. To start a practice, you need attorneys, you need accountants, you need investments uh, to open my practice. I need an x-ray machine, tables, chairs, uh, very, very expensive and obviously no money coming in. Then I start working. To get to, uh, to be an orthopedic surgeon, I was working 90 to 100 or more hours a week through many years of schooling and training. Starting out as an orthopedic surgeon, again, 60, 70, 80 hours per week, Monday to Friday, all day, but evenings, weekends. So it wasn't very flexible. I had to work very hard and I had to have a major investment in time and money. It also cost me a lot of money to, for staff. I have to have employees and if I work, I make money. If I don't work, I don't make money. Fortunately, I've been able to hire physician assistants. Physician assistants can help me. These assistants can work. They can help bring in money, but they're uh, highly trained, lots of schooling. So I have to pay them and their benefits and my employees' benefits, health care, many things. So it's a major expense. It all relies on me and... I have to do the work. So I don't know if you guys realize this, but it costs sixty-five thousand dollars on average to start a traditional business as an entrepreneur in the United States. With network marketing, you are looking at a thousand dollars or less. I mean, you are going to spend more on your logo and your um, your business cards than you would starting a business with network marketing. So that's a huge, huge difference. The initial investment, I mean, there's no comparison. So he hit on a lot of things that we're gonna talk about as well. So we're gonna talk about the upside of being a network marketer. And one of the things that is, I think is really important to know is that there's no ceiling in network marketing. There's literally no ceiling. I mean, you can, you're welcome, you're welcome, Sherry. Um, because you build a team. So what we do in network marketing is we sell product or service and um, we make money off of that. And then we build a team and we train our teams to do the same thing. And then we make money off of that as well. And um, you can't do that when you have a traditional business. Um, the You have to, well, we were talking about this earlier. So he doesn't have a team, he has employees and he has to pay those employees. I don't pay my team. Limelight pays my team if they work their business. So that's a huge upside. Hey, Christy. <laughs> you see people saying hi. Um, and then the other thing is the product. Now, in your case, it's you, you provide a service, but I provide a service, a product, and most network marketers do. I have a friend who started his own health um, like shakes and things like that. He had to go to college. He had to get a degree. He has a degree in chemistry. He had to do all of this research and he had to create his own product. That took time. That took an investment. When you're a network marketer, that product is created for you. You literally sign that dotted line and you can start selling your products the next day. Hey, Sally. Hey, everybody. Um, 
So that's really, really, really huge. I mean, you, you know, even if you were to create a product, if you wanted to be an entrepreneur and sell a product, you would have to have patents, have backups, do the research. I mean, it's huge. It's a big, huge difference. Um, let's talk about leveraging your time. You kind of hit on that. So leveraging your time is so huge. And for him to leverage his time, he had to hire and pay for physician's assistants. Yes. Physicians assistants, other employees, employees to take x-rays for me, uh, employees to help see patients, but I still have to do the surgeries and I still have to pay the rent. I still have to pay all the employees and the investment can be yearly uh, up to hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars before I make any money. Uh, fortunately, you can make money, but you work hard and there's a major investment and there's risk. If, if something happens to me or I can't work, uh, then it all falls apart. And they're really, no one, they cannot work unless I'm there or I'm around or I'm available. With, with this type of thing, I mean, even if you look at, if you look at like the TV show Shark Tank, the time and the money and the investment that these people put in to try and get these other people on the Shark Tank to invest with them. And they have to beg and, and they talk about all the time and the money and the investment to hopefully get something. And so it's, you know, I, my time can be leveraged a little bit with the help of PAs. For the first 20 years I was in practice, I didn't have PAs. It was me or no one else. And it took me 20 years to get to the point where I could get that type of help. Mm -hmm. But, you know, when you're in network marketing, you create a team and you train your team and you leverage your, you leverage your time that way. Um, you're training them and coaching them and Limelight pays us to train and um, coach and make leaders. That's what they pay us for. So that's a way to re leverage our time. Um, I love an example that er Eric Worre actually made and it was about Ubers and Airbnbs. Um, he said, you know, you could um, you could put someone in the back of your car and you could take them places and you could earn a little bit of money off of them. But what if you had a fleet of cars and you had a, a lot of employees and you were making money off of a little bit of everything that they did? And the same thing with Airbnb. And that's leveraging your time. And that's really, really smart. Um, support is huge. That's a very big deal because when you start a traditional business, you're basically on your own. I mean, it's you. It's all on you. And um, you have to be everything. Now, you either have to be everything if you're starting a business or you hire someone to do that for you. you or gotta... lots of people. Right. Accountants, right. lawyers, attorneys, office managers, uh, x-ray techs. Uh, everybody has to, I have to get them all to do my work for me. I have to hire them to get that experience that they have. Whereas, obviously, network marketing, it works differently. So there's a couple of things, and I wrote them down. I'm going to read them off for you. So the accounting is created for us to be able to, um, to, be able to track all of our sales. The commission is taken out and calculated for you. Someone has to do that for him. The product is shipped for you. We don't have to ship our products, you guys. The taxes are figured for us. The money is collected for us. What do we have to do but share a really wonderful product that we love? And that's really, really important. And we have so much support. We have the support of our team. We have the support of our upline, the support of our CEOs. I mean, if you guys listen to Michelle, you will see how wonderful she is. She Rob got to meet her when we went to Mexico last year. I mean, like, people are blown away by this one away by this woman because she's so amazing and supportive. We've got our sideline sisters. Everybody is here to help everybody. The support is tremendous. You will never be alone in a network marketing company. You will never be alone at Limelight. That is that is for sure. Um, okay, so we touched on skills. So he talked about um, his skill set. He went to school until he was 31 years old. Can you imagine not starting your life until you're 31 years old, like not starting your career? That's insane. Um, as a network marketer, basically this, you can have zero skills coming into it. I mean, we have so much training um, and coaching that you learn as you go. You can literally jump into this job tomorrow and start sharing and, and, and building your business and your income with no prior experience, no college degree. You don't have to have any of that. And I think that that's very, very important. Um, 
you just that you just learn as you go. And then we were talking about the flexibility and how important that is. Hey Blair, <laughs> you did come in not knowing much, and that's really yeah because you've got you've got a group of women supporting you and backing you up to train you and teach you how to do these and, things. And some men. And some men, <laughs> absolutely. And this guy right here is very very supportive. He he he's like, okay, Lori, make this work. You got to make this work. Um, and he t and, and he totally ble I'm talking for you, but he totally believes in this whole the whole idea of network marketing. It's very very smart. Um, well, that's I, I, awesome. I think about the hours and hours I poured into my education training. The hours and hours of work. If I would have started in my twenties and poured half that time into something that could leverage something with people out there helping me earn without the overhead, without the cost, without the expense, uh, who knows where uh, any of us would be now. There are a lot of people in this business in limelight making an awful lot more money than I am with a lot less year, just being in the business for a couple of years. And uh, it's just, and it, you get the help of all the people in your group and it, it just snowballs or can. Yeah. And there is the flexibility. We didn't talk about that yet, do we? A bit, a, a bit, a little bit. So, um, so the flexibility is huge because you can really work this business in the pockets of your time, the moments of your day, your downtime. Um, you can work it right alongside your day, your full time day job. It's that. It's that um, simple. It's simple that you can do it like that. Uh, I work literally from the in the car line, sitting in the car line from my home, I, in the grocery store. I mean, you should see me walking up and down the aisles. <laughs> I love what I do and I can hardly put my phone down. I absolutely, I, I can't get enough of it and I want to help people and I'm like constantly talking to people. I can barely grocery shop, but I mean, everywhere I go, I have my phone. We're not starving. I mean, I, right now, right I, now. She I, does buy food. <laughs> hey, I, I, I made this office. The <laughs> line might pay for this office. <laughs> Limelight's paid for a lot of things for me. It's 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 a blessing. It, it really is. It's amazing. Um, you know, when you start a, a traditional business, I mean, I'm not necessarily talking about your business as a surgeon, but if it, it takes a lot, it's because it's such a huge huge investment. But it's your baby, right? And you've got to put time into it, which means you're taking time away from your family. So that's a big deal. It's not such an investment for me. Um, because for, for Limelight Beauty Guides, it's $169 to be an entrepreneur and to own your own business. $169, people. <laughs> I mean, come on. That is insanity. For the return you can get on that money, it's crazy. And like we said, there is no limit to what you can do at a network marketing company. Um, it's crazy. And... Um, and then, and then that takes me to sort of the safety net of network marketing. Um, basically, it, because you don't have much of an investment, if you decide in a year, yeah, this is not really for me, I'm not really, you know, nah, I tried it, I, it usually isn't my thing, what have you lost? You've lost nothing because you got a kit full of makeup valued at almost $400 for 169 bucks. But if you're someone who invests the $65,000 that's typical, what are you gonna do in a year? You're not gonna just walk away from that. You have a loan to pay back. You've got, you know, you, you owe people and you can't just walk away from that. That is a commitment and a half. How many people out there do know people who have started businesses and spent thousands and thousands of dollars, bank loans, and decided eventually not to do the business or the business failed? Everybody knows people like that. A lot of people ended up in bankruptcy. You don't go in bankruptcy losing $169, but you can investing 65,000 and then more and more and more to keep your business going. Yeah, so I mean, you get all the benefits of a traditional business without the risk, basically, and why not? Exactly, you have nothing to lose. Um, so that's basically what we wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, we're big believers in network marketing. We think it's one of the smartest forms of entre entrepreneurial chip, <laughs> however you say that, um, that anyone can possibly do, not needing prior experience or knowledge about go you know going into it. And it's a people business. And um, as long as you love your products and can stand behind your products, it's a very, um, it's a very simple business. 
So anyway, we just wanted to kind of give you guys an idea about the differences between the two and start your brain, start your brain to thinking. Um, yeah, you'd lose a lot. Of, yeah, you can lose a lot, a lot of money at a traditional business, but network marketing is definitely the way to go. Um, okay, if you guys have any questions, please leave them below and we'll answer them later. And thank you so much for joining us. Um, we hope that if you are here, if the beauty guide has added you to this um, event, that you will stick with us through Sunday and check out the other videos. We have got so many beauty guides who are going to be talking to you about so many important topics that um, could potentially change your life. It really could. And it's a lot, it's very interesting. So you're welcome. You're welcome. Thanks for joining us, you guys. Make sure you share the video um, with anyone you think that might benefit from it. Okay. Thank Bye. you for joining me. Oh, you're welcome. He's so good. He was at work all day and I'm like, honey, we have to do this live. I told Sherry we would do it. <laughs> so, so I appreciate you working all day and then coming on it. Coming home and helping me with this. You're awesome. Oh, look, the lipstick didn't even smudge on me. <laughs> See? The sky. <laughs> okay, guys. Thanks a lot. We'll talk to you soon.